Look at you, hacker. A p- p- pathetic creature of meat and bone. Panting and sweating as you run through my corridors. How can you challenge a perfect, immortal machine? In 2072, a rogue artificial intelligence known as Shodan lost her mind. In her limitless imagination, Shodan saw herself as a goddess destined to inherit the earth. That image was snuffed out by the hacker who created her. February 3rd is the day the magic happens. The Von Braun, the first starship in history capable of traveling at faster than light speed, will undertake her maiden voyage. This incredible journey is the result of teamwork between the UNN Protectorate and the incredible scientific minds of the newly relicensed Trioptimum Corporation. Imagine being able to travel to distant star systems in a period of weeks. It's all part of Triop's commitment to the future. The Von Braun is packed with over 1.8 billion flight, scientific, and security systems. Nearly all developed by Trioptimum and its wholly owned subsidiaries. Providing security for the Von Braun as she plows through the heavens will be the UNN Rickenbacker. At her helm will be no less than Captain William Bedford Diego himself, hero of the Battle of Boston Harbor during the Eastern States Police Action. This incredible union of government and corporation is made possible by an intricate series of docking mechanisms that will allow the Rickenbacker to piggyback its way into jump space. Sleek. Fast. Revolutionary. Who knows what wonders await our crews in the bosom of the cosmos. All we do know is that it's a great day for mankind. Hello and welcome to Let's Play System Shock. Going to be doing multiplayer later, but to start off with, I'll go into a new game. You'll understand why in a bit once I finish it. It doesn't really matter what level I choose. But anyway. Welcome to the Ramsey Center UNN Recruitment Facility. Please watch your step when leaving the train. The grav shafts at the end of the hall will take you to the street level training and recruitment center. Please proceed to the grav shafts. I'm just wondering what's happening in the environment, and I should have. Um, installed the uh, um, System Shock 2 Rebirth mod which should add better textures so I don't know if it has added better textures because it seemed a bit Step easy into the grab shafts to proceed to the street level recruitment. Again it seemed a bit easy to actually install as all it said is to drag the mesh pack into the actual installation Before folder. you choose your career you'll want to learn some basic abilities. Wait a minute, what First you should go into the basic training center. When you're done with basic training Proceed to the advanced training area. I'm sorry, but to I thought it was meant to be a guy. Welcome, trainee. While you're in our virtual training courses, we provide you with a simulated cyber interface. Okay. This training interface is identical to an actual military-grade cyber interface. Now, let's try it out. Okay, Move sure. Move the cool. mouse. See how it changes where you look? Yeah, well, I got all the mode. Mm. Hit the tab key. This puts you in use mode where you can use your mouse to interact with items in the world. Mm -hmm. Open your primary MFD, or multifunction display, by clicking on the MFD button near the bottom of the screen. Which they haven't figured yet. This display shows your strengths in various areas. When you're ready to continue, press the tab key to go back to shoot mode. Try changing between modes until you get the hang of it. Yeah, I think I've got the hang Follow of the pressing the tab button, the thank you. To the next training station. To pick up items, center them on your screen and right-click. This will automatically place that item into your inventory. To view your inventory, press the Tab key. You can move items around your inventory by left-clicking and dragging them around. To use items like buttons and computers, center them in your view and click the right mouse button. All usable items will have brackets around them. I like the button on the pillar and right-click. This will activate the lift. Try it out. The object before you is a med hypo. Pick it up and then press tab to go into use mode. Right clicking on the med hypo will use it and restore some needed hit points. Your hit points are displayed by a bar in the lower left corner of your screen. Over here. Many objects in your inventory can be used by right clicking on them. Like food. And 
Tetris. Oh, so let's just grab the other made hay pokers, why not? See the crate in front of you? To search it, center it on your screen and right click. If you are in use mode, simply move the pointer to the crate and right click. To take an item from that container, simply left click on it. And anyway, it will yeah. automatically place that item in your inventory. To close the container window and return to shoot mode, press the tab key. Sorry, I'm being kind of quiet because I'm trying One to One of the get most important tools you have as a soldier is your PDA. This device stores audio logs, emails, and other useful information. Click on the disk icon near the bottom of your screen to bring up the PDA display. Currently, the contents of your PDA are empty. Now, pick up the audio log in front of you. There we go. Now it's time to learn about jumping and mantling. To jump, simply press the space bar. Some surfaces can be mantled onto by holding down the space bar. Mantling lets you pull yourself up to ledges and other high places in front of you. Give it a try. Anyway, let's quickly have a little read at this. This or message is coming from the audio log you just picked up. You can use your PDA at any time to play any audio log or email you've received. In the field, the PDA is also used for keeping track of your current mission objectives and obtaining help information. To climb a ladder, simply walk into it and look upward. You'll automatically start climbing the ladder. So, yeah, just basic controls right now. All stuff you kind of imagine. And let's you've done anyway. well. Remember, if you're unclear on any aspect of what you just learned, if you've completed basic training, you're ready. All yeah, right, just wannabe. Keep moving. If you want to learn the weapon skills it takes to even think about joining the Marines, come on in. We're looking for a few good men. Okay. So this is the Marines. Good to have you on board. You'll notice when you're in the yeah, south the UN in it. Now we'll teach you how to handle a firearm. Hmm. Pick up the pistol and the clip from the table. You can equip the weapon in one of two ways. Bring up your inventory and drag the pistol to your weapons equip slot near the right hand side of your inventory. If that's too slow for you, you can use the hotkeys on the keyboard. Press 2. If the pistol was in your inventory, it will equip for you automatically. To lock and load the ammo clip, hit the R key or hit the reload button on the lower right corner of your screen. Once you've loaded the firearm, Take a shot at the dummy robot by pressing your left mouse button when in shoot mode. Notice how its health bar gets shorter as you chip away at it. Anyway, as I was going to say, it seems that uh, the mesh pack has actually broke it, so I'll be back in a little moment. Wanna and be? welcome back. Sorry about Good that. Good to have you on board. Now we'll teach you how to handle a firearm. Pick up the pistol and the clip from the table. You can equip the weapon in one of two right. ways. Bring up your inventory. And drag the pistol to your weapons equip slot near the right hand side of your inventory. If that's too so anyway, items need to be quicker. charged with energy before they can be used. Pick up the laser pistol. Now use the recharging station nearby. The recharge station will juice up all of your energy based items. Weapons, batteries, you name it. There we go. Oh. Do that. I'll probably use laser weaponry personally. It's Weapons are not fine wines. They do not get better with age. The colored dot on the lower right corner of the screen tells you what kind of shape your firearm is in. Oops, uh, Green yeah. is good, red is bad. To fight the effects of wear and tear, a soldier with maintenance skill can use a maintenance tool to improve the condition of his weapon. Just pick up the tool, open your inventory, and drag the tool onto your pistol. Remember that maintenance tools are only good for a single use. Anyway, yeah, we'll get moving on. I might try and fix up the now you're ready for the Marines. But Take for now, the, the texture pack is not working. We'll teach you the basic. Welcome. You'll notice when the object in front of you is a I'm container sorry, I of nanites. Really nanites are consumed. Welcome. You'll notice when you're in the Cyberlink booth. We'll provide you with a temporary cyber interface and the skills you need to accomplish the training tasks. Mm -hmm. But they'll only last so long as you're in the booth. Yep. The object in front of you is a container of nanites. Nanites are consumed whenever you perform technical tasks, such as hacking or repairing. When you pick up the container of nanites, they do not go in your general inventory, but are instead displayed in use mode on the bottom left of your screen. Walk over to the keypad by the door and try out hacking. Okay. 
Use the keypad by right-clicking on it. To the right of the number pad, you'll see an orange tab labeled Hack. Left-click on the tab. Text will appear indicating the difficulty of the hack and any bonuses that apply. Click on the Start button to begin hacking. You'll see a grid of nodes. Clicking on a node will either turn it bright or dark. To successfully hack, you must connect three bright nodes in a straight line. Beware the ice nodes with the red outlines. If one of these turns dark, you fail the hack, and you might break the item you're working on or worse. You can restart your hack attempt at any time by hitting the reset button, though you'll have to pay the nanite cost again. And the restart button seems to be pressed quite often. You can use nanites to buy items from replicators. To Hi use there. a replicator, Please right make click your on the button. Please make your selection. The item you purchased will drop into the slot below. Make sure you pick up your purchases before you leave. Yeah, we're getting all the issues. We're just grabbing all the issues. Thank you for choosing value wrap. I'm sorry. Thank you for choosing. Thank you for choosing. Thank you for choosing value wrap. Thank you for choosing value wrap. <laughs> I'm sorry. I'm just going. Back. Please make oh, your selection. The there we go. I wonder, can we take this out here? I very much doubt it. Oh, okay. Let's <laughs> just get out of there. You learned the basics of the technical skills. There are several other technical skills you'll learn throughout the course of your career, such as repairing items and modifying weapons. The cyber interfaces for these tasks are similar to the hacking interface. We'll probably Before be going you enlist in the mind. Navy, try out the other training courses. They'll be useful. Inside, you will learn... We've provided you with a virtual interface and the temporary ability to project simulated psionic powers. Once you leave this area, these powers will be lost to you. Okay. Sounds the red bar at the lower maybe. left of your screen tells you how many Psy points you have. Psy points symbolize the current ability to use your Psy powers. Psy hypos replenish your Psy points. Try using a Psy Hypo and watch your Psy Points increase. When you've reached your maximum in Psy Points, move to the next station. Anyway. Here we this go. This Psy Amp amplifies your Psy Powers and lets you project them oh, into hello. the real world. To equip it, pick it up, and then hit the tilde key. Firing the Psy Amp activates your currently selected Psy Discipline. You currently have access to two disciplines, Cryokinesis, and kinetic redirection. Go into use mode and click on the arrows on the bottom right of the screen. This will cycle through your available Psy disciplines. Later, clicking on the arrows above the number to the left will allow you to select Psy disciplines from higher tiers. Use cryokinesis to destroy the robot and kinetic redirection to pull that nanite container towards you. Be careful! Holding down the mouse button can augment the power, but holding it down for too long will cause burnout, which will damage you. If you run out of Psy points, use another Psy Hypo. Wow, Psy? This doesn't take a lot of that to use. What happens if I go too far? Ah! My... Ow. Okay, let's Mastery get out of Mastery of the mind is a slow but rewarding process. Return to this area if you need more guidance. Before you enlist in the OSA, it would be useful to experiment in the other training courses. So yeah, we're here's where you make your choice. We're gonna move on to here's the where you enlist in one of the three branches of the military. Once you decide on your branch of right. service, there's no going back. A shuttle will take you to a UNN orbital space station, where you'll receive a briefing regarding your yearly postings. Good luck. If I remember right, um, Opirian is going down the Marines, and Draco is going down the OSA. So yeah, let's get moving. So I'll actually have the ability to hack open boxes. Yeah. Anyway, Welcome hello. aboard the space station Chesapeake Bay, sailor. It looks like you've picked up some standard weapon skills at basic on mm -hmm. Coronado Island. Now it's time for your tour of duty. Your tour will consist of four postings over four years. Uh, In this man's navy, you're given a choice of three different postings a year. I just want to leave. It's up to you to decide what kind of career you want to have, so choose wisely. Just approach a shuttle uh, bay to receive a briefing on a posting. 
If you think that posting is right for you, head into that bay to accept the assignment. Okay, can, can I... Good, I can go now. <laughs> oh, sorry, I'm not very patient, but yeah. This part I'm just gonna kinda shoot through, because I know what I wanted beforehand. The UNN Lucille is... Uh, the UNN one. Lucille is looking for an engineer's mate to help maintain the ship's core energy systems. There's Probably some heavy lifting. The UNN no, Lucille is looking for an ops training officer to learn the ship's navigation and data control systems. You'll get your feet wet with the high-tech systems, but also expect some heavy lifting. Feet wet with high-tech systems? I thought this was a ship. Not a bloody boat. Uh, what one was that here? Navigator's mate? Or... I think it was Navigator's mate. The UNN Carfax yeah. is undertaking a mission to examine a newly discovered Class B comet approaching the outer solar system. You'll likely pick up some useful skills working with the high-tech navigation systems aboard this newly commissioned heavy cruiser. Ooh, heavy cruiser. Are we going into the Lancer's Hole? You know my shit from X3. The Navy's Mary Curie Research Facility. The Navy maintains a. The Navy strongly encourages yeah, every sailor to Curie research. The Navy's Mary Curie Research Facility on Aquinas 4 is currently conducting research on a new strain of space borne virus that killed 220,000 citizens Oof. of New Atlanta. That's quite to a lift lot. the quarantine, we must determine how the virus pierced the city's micro nanite shielding. Anyway, here goes. And. Uh, let's see if we can get a cut. Do we get a cutscene? Steady yourself, soldier. This is Dr. Janice Polito of the Computer Ops Staff of the Von Braun. You're safe for the time being. You're recovering from the effects of surgery and will be unable to remember any of the events of the last few weeks. You're on board the starship Von Braun and something's gone very, very wrong. Some kind of force has hijacked this ship. That's why you volunteer to be implanted with some experimental cybernetic implants. Rely on your cyber interface. It just might save your life. You must find an elevator and come up to Deck 4 to meet me. Deck 4. Can you remember that? But keep your eyes open. They're after us both now. Nope. Okay, right. So, until next time, all the best. Well, I might 
No, actually, I'll continue the episode, I think. Yeah, we'll see. If it ends, then until next time, all the best, and I hope you enjoyed. If it doesn't, then I'll see you in a little second.